Hi everyone, it's Leanna from Love Learning with Leanna. Today we're going to be creating a physical activity log for Google Classroom. So what we're going to start by doing is by creating a topic. And I'm going to title the topic Physical Education. And once that pops up, I'm going to go ahead and create an assignment. And I am going to label this Physical Activity Week 1 and put in the instructions. Okay, so once I do that, I'm gonna make sure that my entire, only my sample class is getting it and then all my students are, checked, students are checked off. And I am gonna keep the point system just because once the students see a point system, they really do um, put in extra effort for it. For the due date, uh, let's say I'm gonna have my students do it for the week of the 6th through the 10th, so on the I'm going to have the due date on the 12th on, at midnight. And make sure that I am putting the topic physical education. So after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and attach the document that I've created in Google Slides. And I will make sure that this document is down below in the comments section um, in YouTube so you can access the same document you don't have to create a brand new one just for yourself or you can just use it to get motivation to create your own so to do this you're going to click the add button and Google Drive and I'm going to be going in my it's in my recent folder and I'm going to be this is what I'm looking for the physical activity log and I'm going to double click it and I already know that it um, automatically uploads down below, but there's a toggle and you can either have the students can edit the file. So all the students edit that same file or you can make a copy for each student. Now, I love having activities where the students can edit the same file. It just provides collaboration time. But for this specific activity, I'm going to have them make a copy for each student. That way every single student has their own document that they get to manipulate on their own. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to assign it right away. And let's see, once you assign it, it's taking quite a little bit of time, but that's okay. Once you assign it, you're going to see it on the classwork page. And I'm going to go ahead and click it and view the assignment and go to the instructions. So this is where if the students turn it in, I'll be able to see, I don't have any students in this class, but if I had 30 students, it would say 30 students. And if 10 of them turned it in, I would say it would say 10 students. But I'm gonna go ahead and click the instructions. And this is the log that I'm gonna have the students complete. And if your students are used to completing these assignments online, um, usually you could simply send this out and have them figure it out. But what I would do in my classes, because they've never done this um, on Google Classroom, I'm going to go ahead and record a video of myself in the Google. So I'm going to go here to my sample class and in the stream, or let's say if I go to classwork, create material, if I do this on my phone, I'm going to be able to, there's a button that says record using your camera. So I can do that on my phone. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do that here. So I can just give them an, a quick little explanation of how to do that. And if you need help with that, I can also provide some assistance. Um, but this is what the students will be filling out. The very first page is the stretches. They watch this video and then they write down the date and completed and the minutes completed and they would rate their own stretches. And this is a way where they get to rate their own work. Um, and down below in the presenter's notes, I always give directions to the students. When you complete a stretch exercise use, using the video above, please log the data under data. So I just give them a little bit of instructions and every page, once I go down, is different. So this one is for jumping jacks and a video sit-ups and a video, push-ups again with this different video, walking, running, and I also have a page for other activities. So I know my students are doing stuff with their family and I want to make sure that I give them a list of activities that they know they can 
um, long in this physical activity. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope this helped. And let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.